It's time for our Saturday Hockey Talk. No, it's not the Habs, but we've got uh, Toronto Maple Leafs at Boston Bruins. Game one, round one. This is the preview. And hey, everybody. I'm Rick. Welcome to Talking Habs, where you get your daily fix of Blue Blanc Rouge. So it's the uh, playoffs starting today. Um, there's been some games. I don't know the results of anything yet. Uh, <laughs> I have had a busy day. I just got sitting down here one minute before this. That's the first time I think ever. Um, enough of that. Um, uh, we want to see the Boston Bruins beat the Leafs. That's why we're doing this series. Uh, also because, um, I mean, welcome in on Don't Puck With Media as well, by the way, uh, because Cam is a big Boston Bruins fan. So uh, we're covering the Boston Bruins. They happen to be playing the Leafs. I usually follow the Leafs till they lose, which is always first round. Um Anyway, I've got some uh, stats here for the game. I've got some news. I've got, uh, geez, I don't know. I'm so not used to doing other games. I've got the Guess the Score contest. So, yes, if you're in Canada, the Guess the Score contest will go on for this game. Guess the score of the game and the first goal scorer of the game. You can pick that guy from either team. And if you're the first one in the comments with, uh, or in the, the chat with that guess, and if you are from Canada... Uh, you'd win the $10 prize directly into your bank account uh, via Interact. Interact is the reason why it's got to stay in Canada. I can't help that. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see who's here, and then I'll get to my news. Let's see. Guru, first one in, as always. Hey, Guru. Phil Samurai, a wonder Phil. Boston has a buy here. We're just going through the motions. That's what I think. Oh, Sam, Samuel Adius is telling us that it's Boston Toronto. Did you guys know we're doing Toronto and Boston? I didn't know that, Samuel. Tell me something I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry if I have an attitude with him. There's a reason. All right, if you're here, say hi. Let me know who you're cheering for tonight. Slinksy. Hey, Slinksy, how's it going? Are the Leafs a better team on paper than the Bruins? I'm never going to admit to something like that. <laughs> um, honestly, I mean, I don't know. Are they a better team? I I, I really don't know. They're not going to be a better team on the ice, is how I see it. But I don't on paper. I don't really know. Several rookies starting out this year in the playoffs, like Hugh Janis. Huge anus. Huge anus? Is that what you're trying to say? You want me to say bad words? Is that it? All right. Uh, Samuel Adius, you are 100% wrong. This is not 24-25 or next season. This is 1924. Get with the times, man. Hey, who's who? Hey, again. Fifth last. That's where we are. Yep. Hey, Jack Newell, as much as I hate these those Leafs, I think they win in six games. No, no. In, I'm, I have Boston in seven. Um, got some news about that, their history and all that stuff. So just give me a minute. Isn't it supposed to be Hugh, Hugh Jass? Is there a huge ass here? Huge ass. Is there a huge ass here? No? That's from Simpsons. It's not a huge anus. I'm not how I heard it. You were on the edge of your seat watching the Arizona game. Why, though? I, I was totally confident. Uh, you didn't see me worry, and what happened? They finished in fifth. The whole broadcast was sad, I guess, yeah. No, listen, I get it. We lost the Expos here, so I totally understand. You're going to watch the Rocket game? Yeah, the Rocket got knocked out of the playoffs. Too bad. Uh, eliminated from postseason contention. Sokolov mocked the Rockets fan. Well, the Rockets, they know what to do. Q 
Hugh Jasshole. Nice. I don't know. Uh, Guru, are you calling me that? Or is it calling Phil that? Or I think it's Samuel. I think it's Samuel. All right. So I know this is weird. It's weird for me doing uh, not Habs games. I, it's, I always find that weird. So, uh, but I will enjoy if. Um, if Boston wins, what I, I totally expect. Nylander, uh, William Nylander is a game time decision. So I guess that uh, that clip we saw where he sort of just coasted into the corner with the guy and then skated off. He must have been injured. Apparently he was. He's a game time decision. The goal is tonight will be Linus Ulmark and Ilya Samsonov. So we got Ulmark and Samsonov tonight. These teams have faced each other. A total of 16 times in the playoffs in the history of the uh, league. Surprisingly, they split with eight series wins each. Except that 1959 was the last time Toronto beat Boston in the playoffs. Bruins have won the last six series. Uh, the last three times uh, going to seven games. But Boston hasn't beaten, I mean, Toronto hasn't beaten Boston since 1959 in the playoffs. So that's a, a whole eight years. Is it eight years? Eight years longer than the cup, uh, than winning the cup. So I think I said it the other day in a video that uh, they have, uh, yeah, they haven't beaten Boston even longer than since they won a cup. And also this season, Boston swept Toronto in the regular season all four games. Now, you could look at that because I've seen, you know, other teams facing that kind of an uphill thing for Toronto. It's uphill with those numbers. And yet they come through it. So I'm hoping that's not the case here. And I'm hoping Boston's dominance over Toronto in the playoffs continues because it's going to. Because that Boston, I mean, Toronto can't win in the playoffs. And then next round, Boston's going to face the end, I think, for the – I don't think they go past uh, – they don't go past round two, Boston, and Toronto doesn't get to round two. Where's Matt Bedard uh, in Nova Scotia, Samuel? I don't, I don't work with Matt Bedard. Yeah, I don't think he's Bartholomew Aiken. He's not. He's just somebody I've had to. Uh, I've had trouble with over the years. Let's put it that way. I'm not sure how many times I've banned him and he keeps coming back with the same name somehow. I don't know. Excellent journey of, of being banned and coming back. Hey, eh, Samuel? Excellent journey. All right. So uh, let's go and uh, look at these uh, stats. I don't know. I hope it doesn't. It's going to come out weird, but. I don't have all the stats I usually do for the Habs because obviously I, some of the things I don't know where to look for for them. Uh, so I got what I got. All right, let's take a look. Where am I? All right, the game tonight Toronto Maple Leafs were 46, 25, and 10, and the Bruins 47, 20, and 15. The season series, a sweep by Boston. November 2nd, 3 2 in Boston. December 2nd, 4-3 in Toronto, March 4th, 4-1 in Toronto, and March 7th, 4-1 in Boston. So, based on the regular season, um, Toronto doesn't have a chance. But it doesn't mean anything. Honestly, the regular season doesn't mean anything, except that they're the Toronto Maple Leafs, and they don't win in the first round. It's an aberration last year. Uh, and they're going to go right back to their ways, and I don't see them getting past Boston. How's, how's that? Last 10 games for both teams. Leafs were 5-4-1. and one. They lost their last four, New Jersey, to Detroit in overtime, to Florida, and to Tampa. Um, they did also beat New Jersey, Pittsburgh, Montreal, Florida, and Buffalo. Bruins 6-4-0 in their last 10. 
two uh, two game losing streak, I guess. Washington and Ottawa. They also beat Pittsburgh, Florida, Carolina, Nashville, Washington, and Florida again. Home and away records for the season. Um, Toronto away is twenty was twenty four and seventeen, and Boston at home was twenty four and seventeen. So that doesn't tell us anything. The refs tonight they get T.J. Luxmore and Gord Dwyer. Uh, Gord Dwyer wasn't great with Montreal. Don't know. Let's see how he, with Toronto he seems to do well. Uh, Toronto does well with him. Boston does not. The other guy, Toronto does okay with him, and Boston. So does Boston. So we'll see how the refs are. They they suck, but we'll see how close. Uh, lines for the Leafs: Matthews, Bertuzzi, and Domi, Tavares, Nyes, and Marner. Holmgren, Robertson, and Nylander if he's in the game. If not, I don't know who it'll be. Kampf, Dewar, and Reeves for the fourth line. Riley and Lee Bushkin are the first pair. Benoit and McCabe, second pair. And Edmondson and Lilligreen, third uh, third pair. Samsonov getting the start. Wall backing them up. And for Boston, you got Zaka, Heinen, and Pasta. Coyle, Marshawn, and DeBrusque. Geeky, Lauko, and Frederick. Boquist, Beecher, and Maroon. Lindholm and McAvoy, first pair. Grizzlechek, I can never say his name. And Carlo, second pair. Shattenkirk and Peak, third pair. Allmark starting. Swayman backing him up. I usually do the lines at the end. I don't know why they're there. Uh, players to watch over the last five games of the season. Uh, points, Marner with seven. Pasta with four. Goals, Tavares with five, Zaka with two. Assists, Marner with six, Pasta with four, and plus minus McCabe was plus three, and Hyman was plus two. At the dot to end the season, uh, Toronto was 53.4% uh, at the dot there, fourth in the league, and Boston 495 They were 21st. Toronto's top five scoring, Matthews 69 69 goals. He didn't get 70, though. All that bragging about 70, 70, 70, 70, and he didn't get it. Piece of whatever. 69 goals, 38 points, um, assists, and 107 points. And I'm sorry, when you got three guys that are over 100 and what, God knows what points, uh, no, he's, he doesn't cut it for the heart, especially since he has no heart. Uh, it was a plus 31. Nylander, 40 goals, 58 assists, 98 points, plus one. Marner, 26 and 59, 85 points, plus 21. Tavares, 29 and 36, 65 points, plus two. And Riley, 7 and 51 for 58 points and plus seven. For Boston, Pasta led the way, 47 goals, 63 assists, 110 points. See, he's got more points. He's not in the race, is he? Uh, plus 21. Uh, Marshawn, 29, 38 for 67 points and plus two. Charlie Coyle, 25 and 35, 60 points minus two. Zaka with 21 and 38 for 59 points and a plus 12. And McAvoy, 12 goals, 35 assists, 47 points and a plus four. Goalies, tonight it is Samsonov, 23, 7 and 8 with a 3, 1, 3 goals against and an 8, 9, 0 save percentage. And that's not going to cut it in the playoffs. This is not going to cut it in the playoffs. Allmark, starting for the Bruins, um, he was 22, 10, and 7 with a 2.57 goals against and a 9.15 save percentage. See those numbers? Much better. Anyways, my prediction I'll give you my guess the score since I didn't before. Um, I'm going 4 2 Boston, and I'm going to give Pasternak. Pasta, the first goal. Pasternak with the first goal. Uh, to, to, where, where am I now? How do I get back there? Over there. There you go. There's lots of comments. I wonder if they're all from Samuel. Jesus Christ. Where was I? We could see something special from Toronto. Yeah, special brand of shit is what we're going to see. 
Matthews and Marners are determined to flip the script. They say that every year, though. Just a different, they use different words every year, but they say the same thing. And the results also the same. Uh, who's this is the one thing uh, he expects from the series? Reeves will be loud on social media. Nope. Uh, Tacos Corner says Nylander has been um, deemed out. So game time decision. And the decision was no. Leafs are trash anyway. Yarn Croc in for Nylander. That's, and Yarn Croc hasn't played since March 16th, I think I saw there. Hey, Lucas. I'm not going to remember these stats. I don't know what that is. Uh, they're supposed to, yeah. The I'm, I'm gonna only just say this. Everybody, that's the other four guys are supposed to be in the yeah on the watch party because that's what makes it a watch party. But I don't have a lot of confidence in that, so we'll see. It could be just me. I have no idea. You're out. This guy's got to put down the booze. That's not booze, man. Bye-bye. Don't let the door hit you on the ass on your way out, eh? Good luck to your Leafs. No, I don't mean it. You'd like the Leafs to win? Bye, Huzu. Hey, all good names. That's going with you, man. Samuel, you think you could stop it? You think? Yeah, we're at home watching. Yeah. Yeah. You telling me something I don't know? Your team sucks. So what? Put down the bottle. You know what? As a matter of fact, I don't know. You first time I see you, but guess what? It's also going to be the last time. Bye. Fucking asshole. Hey JF, we need to trade Caulfield for Boone Jenner. Yeah, you're crazy. Nice talking to you. I'm consistent at least, right, Aiken? I might be crazy, but I'm fucking consistent at it. Am I cheering for the Leafs? You want to get booted from here? Of course not. Uh, Samuel, you see what I did with Taco? You're next, so stop all the ta all the messages. Don't you notice I'm ignoring you? Coffee over Boone Jenner, right? Like, right? Uh, Jeb, I, I agree with you on that. Ninety-eight percent. I'm crazy. I admit it. I'm crazy. Just in a different way, that's all. But you're right. I think 98% of people today are crazy. But it's okay. See, I'm crazy in a good way. So there's a difference there.
All right. So if you want to uh, talk about something, just uh, by the way, if you're here, I just tell people that's a surprise. Um, say hi and uh, try not to piss me off. That would be a good thing. And um, Aiken, it is 420. And uh, say hi, whatever you want to talk about. If you're a Leafs fan, I'm good with that as long as you don't act like an idiot. Aiken, you're not even on camera. Why you have to go somewhere to do that? I do that right here. You think the Habs make playoffs next year? Um, it's you know what? It's um, I don't think that they don't, but I don't necessarily think that they will either. But there's definitely a possibility that they will. Any Habs I see getting traded? Uh, yeah. They're going to have to make, I think, D, uh, Harris, Kovacevic, uh, Barron. I think those guys not all get moved necessarily, but they could get moved easily. Well, let's see if he, let's see, let's just see if he figures this out. I'm going to time him out. If he comes back in and does that same crap, I'm going to toss him. Because this guy, Samuel Adius, he's given me problems for five years on and off. Every now and then, he just likes to come in and bug me. And I've booted him. And he comes back, same name. I have to boot him again. And he comes back, same name. Like Red with Alexis DeBook. Two, these two guys. Just can't get rid of them, man. We need to pick up a goalie and sign Crosby to a three-year deal. Not happening. Why do we have to pick up a goalie? We've got Monty and uh, Primo. No need. Sam is a good lad. Sam's a little wacky. Maybe a little bit more than a little wacky, too. I don't know why, all good names, why do you feel that we need to pick up a goalie? Signing Crosby, that's not happening. Yeah, it's not, Crosby's not coming here. I'd, I'd love it, sure, I'd love it, but he's not coming here. How are we doing for time? So we got about 25 minutes or 20 minutes, something like that left. 2-1 Carolina. Who are they playing? The Islanders, right? But that's what? What time are we? I, what time did that game start? Uh, what period is that in? We need two big first-line wingers. Uh, what's wrong? You have a problem with our first line, though? Slap's not big enough on the first line as uh, as a winger? I get you might think Cole is small, but Slap? He's 6'4". I think line one's pretty set. Uh, Aiken, I hear Lindstrom has back issues. That might make him drop. I don't know any more than that. I just that's what I read. I don't have the details, but I hear he has back issues. I don't know if it's true, not true, but they're expecting him to drop a little bit because of it. At least where I read that, I'm expecting that. Sixteen minutes left in the game. I oh okay, thank you. Uh, it's a, no, uh, Slaff is 6'4", not 6'5". Package Winnipeg and Avs pick to move up. You could do that, but it doesn't mean you're going to move up. 
You know, and they say it all the time. Hugh said it again. I think at the, in his the season ending thing doesn't mean that you're gonna. You know, you could try. Doesn't mean it's gonna. You know, and we don't know what he's trying. We don't know what he's at. Who he's talked to. What we don't know. We don't hear the things that didn't happen. We hear what happens. That's all. <laughs> That's funny, Huzu. That's Quebec for you. Lucas, went a little bit wacky with my bracket, but playoffs are so unpredictable, so I like to do that. Yeah, I got to do uh, two because I did the video, and I had already done a bracket. So my real bracket, and I did one for the video, where I changed it up a little bit. Listen, there's always, um, I, every year, there's upsets. Every year, there's upsets. There's probably one Cinderella team out there. We don't know till it happens. That's what's up. Anyway, I'm hoping for a fun game to watch. And by fun, I mean that Toronto does never hold the lead. That Matthews, Marner, Tavares are held off the score sheet. And Reeves gets his ass kicked. That would be like, to me, that's a fun game. Yeah, but JF, I'm going to say to you this. I agree with you. I mean, you must have read, uh, who was it that said Montreal needs to get bigger? Scotty Bowman just said that. They're great. They're in the right direction, blah. They need to get a little bigger. I'm, I imagine you've seen that. Um I'm thinking, though, you, you're you like a lot of other people, and it's grass is greener on the other side of the fence and blah, blah, blah. It's not. It's not. Do they need – should they get a big winger? 100%. Um, should they get a little bit bigger? I have no problem with that as long as it's not just for the sake of, well, pick this guy because he's big. Uh, that That doesn't make sense either. Leafs on a Cinderella run. Aiken, you're about to get banned, man. Yeah, see, Samuel doesn't learn. He doesn't learn shit. He ain't waiting on him anymore. By the way, that's true. Lucas, I'm really sorry about that. <laughs> Congrats to Lucas for, and it was a come from come from behind win over uh, BL um, uh, in the fantasy uh, pool. And Lucas is going to win himself. I'm not wearing the t-shirt that I, I'm going to give him one. Like Anyway, he's getting a t-shirt, talking abs t-shirt for that. So yeah, congrats, Lucas. I'm really sorry. I, 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 I'm an idiot for not, not leading off with that. So congrats, Lucas. Again, you know what? I was out today and I went to the mall and I thought, ah, I forgot to take the T-shirt with me and to call you or text you to meet me. So I apologize for that. But I may be there tomorrow, so we'll we'll see if we can do that. Hey there, Andre. How's it going? Good to see you as always, man. Yeah, maybe we'll have to come up with some kind of trophy, but it would be hard to, you know, to give the trophy to somebody. So maybe not. But maybe down the road, once we got t-shirts going and everything, maybe we'll get a printed, we'll print like a champion, you know, fantasy pool champion t-shirt. That's what the winner will get is a t-shirt saying they won the pool. That's my idea for that. <coughs> Excuse me. We're a half hour in. So we've got about another 15 minutes. We've got to cut it a little shorter because, um, yeah, I just want to make sure everything's set for the for the watch party that may be a watch party and maybe just me. I don't know. Matt moved today. Apparently, they're all going to be ready and all that because they helped them move, Alex and Cam. And everything's supposed to be good. So we should be all there. Harry, I have not heard from. I don't know. 
Although he said yesterday, he I think it was yesterday or the day before he wants to do it. I don't, I don't know. I'm the only one that you can guarantee shows up. Every, everybody else hit and miss. And if they argue with me on that, well, proof is in the pudding. Who's who? Sounds like that's going to be a, a rough and tumble game. Yeah, Lucas, don't leave town, eh, without getting your T-shirt, eh? Come on. Four three Bruins. Matthew Nyes with the first goal says Slinksy. Yeah. By the way, don't forget. Uh, take a guess for the guess to score. If you're in Canada, you could win. If you're out of Canada, well, you can get bragging rights. That's the best I can do right now. Aiken goes six four Leafs and Matt. He, Aiken's just trying to rub it into me, like you know, he thinks that's going to bother me. That's not. Because, listen, I think it's going to be a seven-game series. So, obviously, the Leafs are going to win three games if it goes the way I think. So, I'm going to have to watch some Leafs wins. Although, Tuesday, it's possible. Tuesday, I won't be doing the game. I don't know when the next game is. If it's Monday, yeah, I'll be doing this game. If it's Tuesday, no. No, no worries, Aiken. You, you're, allowed to pick. You, you're allowed to pick whoever you want. I'm, I'm just, listen, I'm the same, and I'm just having fun today. That's all. I had to take, I, I had to take some pain meds today, so that's why I'm a little wacky. Uh, Lucas, you know what? I don't disagree with that. <laughs> it was kind of like in the 21 playoffs where we came back from the 3-1. Um, it got to them every time Montreal won every game, it got worse and worse in their heads that they couldn't beat us. And I kept saying that and that, and I was, I was right. And I know that's what it was. And it's got to be the same thing with Boston because they can't beat Boston since 1959 in the playoffs. So, you know, that's going to get to them pretty quick. Let's say Boston goes out to two, nothing series lead. Um, it's going to be in their head when they go back to Toronto that they can't beat them. All right, Samuel, I just banned you and you're back in. So you know what? Yeah. I'm just going to, however many you got, I'm going to ban you all. I told you, this guy's got at least 10 names in my ban list 10 different times. One of those idiots that just, I don't know, every now and then he just says, oh, you know what? I'm going to bug Rick tonight. Uh, Lucas, um, that's what's going to happen if they do beat Boston, though, right? And and vice versa. If Boston, I think it's I don't know if they're gonna get swept by Florida, but I don't think Boston's gonna make it past Florida. So that's how I see it. But I'm never gonna I don't care. Even if I really think the Leafs are gonna win, I might sort of say it, but I'm never gonna pick them. I'm never gonna cheer for them. I don't care if Canada hasn't won a cup in a thousand years. I would never cheer for the Leafs for any reason whatsoever. If the if the Leafs beat Boston, it'd be like Vancouver in 2011 beating the Blackhawks. Okay, now I was going to say that's not for because 2011 didn't they lose to Boston for the Cup? But that was to get there, right? I didn't I didn't watch that stuff. I watched the finals though. I watched the Vancouver Boston series. I don't know I watched every game, but I watched I watched some of it. Hey, can you may think that I could be crazy at some time, but when I tell you somebody is whatever, I don't lie. 
And they think I don't remember them after a while, right? And then they come back in like, I don't remember you. Idiot. My memory might not be the best, but it's not that bad. <laughs> All right, what we got left here? Ten more minutes, guys. I'm going to take a quick break and then be back um, on both channels this time. Legally, I'll be able to stream on both channels. Uh, we're doing it right this time. We figured out what we did wrong the last time uh, to stream it there for me to stream directly to both channels. So if you want to go over to Don't Puck With Media and watch it, feel free. Um, and if you want to watch it here, feel free. Uh, Lucas, I don't really like that idea, but you may be right. Maybe they found a way. I don't I don't know about 10 years because this team, I don't think they can be at the top of their game for 10 years um, now. Uh, but, you know, maybe the next two, three, they actually win a round and then get, you know, tossed in the second. I don't like that, but it might happen. I don't know. I, there's nothing about this team that I saw in the uh, the Leafs in the regular season that makes me think that they can win a round. And then you got Nylander, who's injured, and I don't know how bad and how long he'll be out. Um, there was somebody else was injured too, I think. Their goaltending sucks. Their defense, I don't think any part of their that team is built for the playoffs. Uh, Lucas, yeah, I get that. But you know that I kind of, at least for the first round, you got to think Boston not going to lose this first round. They got to be really pumped for it. I got to think that, right? Until it until it maybe isn't. But um, I, yeah, I, I don't see them beating Boston. Plus, I mean, they haven't beaten Boston in uh, literally 75 years. Let me see if I'm right on that. 40, 60, 65 years. In the playoffs. They're not beating them in the play. You could say they're due. You could. But they're not going to do it. The Caps beat the Pens in 2018. That was the Caps demons. What do, I'm not sure what you mean by that. I, I, you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't write it well. It's vague for me. I don't know why. Uh, Red Panda is a Leafs fan. Boy, go, Boston, go. Am I streaming the Leafs game? We're doing a watch party. I'm not showing the game, though. And it's the Bruins game. Uh, JFED, I couldn't agree more. But I don't think Red Panda up there, just above you, agrees with that. But listen, Red Panda, as long as you're not crazy and want to put us all down, you're welcome. Uh, we have Leafs fans that come into this channel, and no problem. But but so welcome in. Tentatively, I say that because I don't know what I'm getting. It took the Caps 18 years to get past the second round, and the Pens always beat them. 18 years and 65 years. Big difference. Again, well, I appreciate that, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of people that do. So uh, don't worry about it. Well, Red Panda, that's the, your second comment. It's looking good for you. It's looking good. No worries, man. You're welcome, and you're welcome to talk up your team. There's no problem. Just be civil. That's the only. We're going to be civil with you as long as you are with us. Where is the watch party link? You don't need a watch party link. You know my channel? It's right here. Doing it on both channels, so you don't got to go anywhere. Let's go to Talking Habs. Uh, I didn't, why would I put a link to the other one when you can watch it right here? Is the watch party on this channel? Uh, on both, Lucas. You can watch it wherever you feel like it. 
geez, there's still eight minutes in that game? Wasn't there like 16 minutes left? It feels like that was 15, 20 minutes ago. Oh, that's true. That's hockey. Yeah, that's true. There's a way to transfer viewers to another video. What do you mean by that? Why would I want to transfer viewers to another to another chat? That's fine. I'm streaming to both. At eight o'clock. The watch part, well, the game's at eight o'clock, Red. Not now. Uh, Red Panda, that's crazy. I don't know what's crazy. I'm crazy. You're right. I am. Again, directly, I'm streaming streaming directly to the two channels. I don't have to transfer anything. And both uh, both comment sections will show up here for me to see. All good. And we are down to the last five minutes. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be stopping this in five minutes, and then I'll be back a half hour, about a half hour after that. Hopefully, we'll all be back. I don't know. I know I'll be back, and maybe everybody will be. I don't know. I I, I know I'm saying that they won't. They might not, but they'll be there. I hope. Otherwise, you got me for, I don't know, it could go to overtime. It could be a long, I don't know. I don't know. It could be a long time. They better show up. Yeah, Red Panda, I, I figured you weren't one of the crazy Leafs fans. And like I said, you're welcome here. When the Has played the Leafs, you want to come in. When you want to just join, you're welcome here. Because I've already got two, three, or four Leafs fans that come in pretty regularly. And they're they're good guys, and we don't have any problems. And then there's some that come in just to give us shit and, and say stupid things, and I toss those guys out. That's all. Hey, Lucas, no worries, man. <laughs> That's what I figured, too. And I kind of figure there's a lot of Habs fans would like to watch that game just to see, like, frankly, either team lose. And I just kind of just want to see the Leafs lose. Um I, I don't normally cheer for Boston, and I won't normally cheer for Boston, except in this situation. And then next round, well, I won't be cheering for Boston. Cam is the Boston fan. Alex is the Flyers fan. Um, I'm pretty sure Cam will be in here. Because Cam was the first one. I didn't think anybody would. And Cam was the first one to say, no, no, I'll be there. Don't worry. So Cam, I'm pretty sure, will be here with me. Uh, as far as Alex and Matt. Matt might not have everything set up. Might not be able to. I don't know. So that's, you know, valid. Alex, I don't know. But Alex probably will be here. Baby Yoda. Welcome, Baby Yoda. Cam is the guy that does all the voices. That's how you want to remember Cam. Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse, Cam. There you go. Uh, Red Panda, you are a Leafs fan and you like Montreal. Well, you're better. You're a better man than me then because I'm a Habs fan. And listen, quite right, I cannot stand the Leafs. Doesn't mean I don't like you and I don't like Leafs fans, but I don't like the team at all. I hate them. I detest them. But it doesn't mean, you know, we can get along because, we, like I said, there's a few Leafs fans that do come in here. And everything's great. His passion should be up for that. Yeah, you know, we should see Cam with some strong emotions in the game. And can I can only, I find myself, like, there's teams I'm okay with. But, I mean, I only cheer for one. And that's it. Habs. But I don't I don't really, I don't care what anybody, like, you like who you like. I don't care. 
I just that's what uh, I'll only cheer for one now in K in cases like this. Sure, I'll cheer for Boston because I really don't want. I hate the Leafs. I uh, can. I don't know how they do it either. I don't. But I mean, listen, Matt likes three teams. Matt likes Vegas as well, and there's another team I don't remember the other team, but he likes three teams. But not not in the same. He doesn't like the other two the same way he likes Montreal. I just I no. I can't do it. Listen, everybody's different, right? All right. Speaking of that, I gotta run. I will be back at uh, seven at eight o'clock. We're gonna be doing the watch party right here. Or if you want to check it out on the new channel, Don't Puck with Media, that link is in the description. You'll find it over there very easily. And if you're if you're over there and you want to subscribe, please do that. And uh, we'll have fun tonight. Um, I don't think we'll be doing any play-by-play, -play and we're probably, I know I'm going to have it last, so we're going to be at different times, sort of, so we're just going to have a lot of fun, a lot of color commentary, a lot of bugging each other and shit like that, and a lot of talking to you guys in the chat, and we'll have a lot of fun. So join us, 8 o'clock, thanks everybody for being here, really appreciate that, and uh, I don't know what else to say, but till next time. Stay safe out there. Peace out. And I'll see you soon. Ciao, everybody. And if you don't come back, well, have a great rest of the Saturday. Ciao, everybody.